Welcome back to the show, boys and girls. And for you new guys and girls who just showed up, welcome for the first time to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. It is New Stuff Season, baby Richardson, because today we're checking out, you know what? When I say New Stuff Season, I really just mean it's new Sony stuff season. Sony just dropped a bunch of new stuff, man. Like one, two, three, three new speakers and a set of headphones, man. And today on this particular video, we are talking about this brand new Alt Field One Bluetooth speaker. Dude, <laughs> I just wanna throw up some heart emojis, man. I really, really like this thing. First of all, the design is probably one of my faves of all the smaller bottle size Bluetooth speakers. This one's gotta be like up there, like, dude, Sony, you kind of nailed it. You get it, Sony. All my complaining that I do on my videos about speakers and stuff and headphones, it seems like Sony be the only ones that be listening to me, man. So I appreciate you, dude. Sony, man. Sony, man, I appreciate you opening up your ears and listening to me. So first of all, this thing actually replaces the Sony XE200. Now I know back when I checked that one out on the channel, a lot of people seemed a little disappointed by that speaker. I think with an update that they did and uh, like some EQ tweaks, man, that speaker actually sounded pretty good, but some people were still disappointed in it. Well, Sony, they're, they're back, okay? They're back to the old school Sony. And this time they're bringing some other stuff, man. It's called Alt. I'm gonna just call it a bass boost for all you people who out there just, just don't get it. It is Alt, okay? But for all intents and purposes, it is a bass boost. It is a physical button, okay, on the speaker. And I freaking love it because it gives your sound, your, your music, that, that extra thump that you might be looking for when you want it and you can just turn it off when you don't need it. Say you're listening to a YouTube video like this one or a podcast or something, you just take it off and you get nice clean level sound all across the board. And then when you want, when you want that extra thump, you just tap the button. But we, we got time for that later, man. Let's just get into some other kind of specky stuff. Even though it's the untechnical tech channel, I gotta tell you about some stuff, man. So with the Alt Field One, you got one low frequency mode, and that is by pushing that button right there, which we just discussed, and we will go over in just a moment. But that's it right there. And inside of the app, you also get your traditional three band EQ, which I don't think you need for a speaker of this size. I think it sounds fantastic coming right out of the box once you combine it with this alt button right there. And then for those of you who be doing stuff like doing life, right? You want to take this thing with you. It will fit in your cup and bottle holders. Okay. So you just going to take it with you, right? It is IP67 rated. Okay. So it's kind of life proof in that sense, but guess what? It is also rust proof. So I was talking to Sony man and he said, Hey man, in San Diego, we be taking our stuff to the beach. And I thought about it, man. I be taking my stuff to the beach too. I live in Texas. I got the dirty Galveston beach. So <laughs> it's still a beach, right? Salt water. So it's rust proof. So your inside, your guts, they ain't gonna be rusting either because yeah, Sony did that. IP67, is there a number for rust proof? I don't know, but Sony's doing it already inside of this speaker. So while it's fighting all that dust, rust, and water, it is also shock proof. Right here, man, if you look at on the end caps here, you got these, this is like straight up like hard rubber, man. So you can just bang this thing against the wall or on the concrete or whatever, or just throw it, man. Just toss it, man. And it's gonna survive the drop. The speaker is actually life proof. Amongst all that life proofness, you can also take your phone calls with this because you got a button right there to answer and end calls. You, and since I'm on the top here with the interface, you got your your uh, your power on, your Bluetooth button, answering in calls and play and pause. Then you got your volume up and of course that alt button, which I keep bringing up. So as you're playing this thing, man, I guess you're wondering how much sound am I gonna get out of this thing? How long can I keep that party going? Well, up to 12 hours. Now take that with a grain of salt because it really just depends on how loud you play this thing. At full volume, I'm assuming you're gonna degrade that battery life just a little bit, but hey, take it how you want it. With all puns intended, you do have this clutch feature right here, which is this lanyard they have looped in and out of this thing. Look at it, man. It's kind of reminded me of the XB100 that has one of the best lanyards I've seen on a Bluetooth speaker because it's so versatile. They have it looped in right here, and then they have it looped in on the other side. So it can act as a handle if you want it to, right? You can just, you know, clutch this thing and just carry it around as on a handle. Put it on a handlebar, a tree limb, like, can you fit on your arm? Like the arm, I don't know about the shoulder, but if you want to, you can actually untie this thing and bring it out. Now you have an extra long lanyard to hang it from. And I'm 
I'm pretty sure you can configure any kind of way you want to do with this thing. It's like, man, can you get it open enough to slip it on as a backpack? <laughs> This is crazy, no, I'm just playing, man. Seriously, this is a very, very, very versatile uh, lanyard that they have right here. I love this configuration. Then when you just kind of need it out of the way, you just, let me just open this back up. When you need it out of the way, you can just pull on, on one end and just tighten it up and then it's kind of out of your way. Now, if you open up the speaker booty on the back, you don't really get much. It's just that USB-C charging port on the back. And for me, that's all I need. I don't need a 3.5 millimeter. A lot of you guys like to jack in, but hey, look. It, just just play it. It's a Bluetooth speaker, man. So the thing about this speaker probably that I love the most outside of its color, I actually chose orange because this is freaking fly, man. <laughs> okay. But the thing I like the most outside of the sound and the color is its versatility as far as playing music. Check this out. Okay. So let's say, you know, let's look over here. So typically this is a front firing speaker. You got your driver's face in here, right? And then you got your passive radiators on the right. Typically you're gonna set that thing down and then you're gonna play it. You're gonna get the best sound standing in front of it. So you, you, you're gonna get the best sound out of the speaker. I ain't getting jacked back here. I'm just getting a, a bunch of a muscle, a muffled mess back here, right? It sounds all right, but you're getting the best of it. Check this out, man. All I gotta do is rotate it because it's a squircle. Well, more of a square, but I'm gonna call it a squircle because it's rounded. So you can just rotate it. And now everybody can get some, man. Everybody in the room can actually get some of the sound, not just you being all stingy with the music and everything because it's up firing now. And that way the sound can just cascade up and around the room. I love that. It's such a simple thing that I'm calling a feature in the design, it's just kind of baked in and it, it just works, man. And to be honest with you, me and my wife, we actually played it like this firing up last night in the living room as we were testing things out. And she actually said, man, that sounds so much better than when I was, you know, facing it towards myself, listening to it. She, she was able to enjoy the sound too, cause I was able to face it up. And because of the design, you got these little ports right here on the sides of the, uh, of these flanges right here on the outside. That allows this base radiator to do some damage, man. You can also stand it up just like that. And then you still have air coming out of here because alt means pressurizing the room and letting that base drop. And that's what this is gonna do. It's actually gonna allow all the sound to still come out of these uh, these flanges right here while you're still getting all the clarity coming out of the, uh, the drivers in the front. The design of this thing is so freaking clutch and Sony's other speakers that are coming out now have this similar design and I'm here for it because it allows the speaker to be just that much more versatile. It's not a one trick pony where it just sits at you and, and fires forward, especially being this small, man. I just love that. But now I want to share with you the app experience that you're going to get with the Alt Field 7. Now we know that Sony's app experience on their speakers is pretty minimal, man. They don't want you jacking around with it too much. So right here, this is the home page. Yes, you can group it with other speakers. I did notice that there is no button here for that to do the grouping, but oh man, I, I wish there was a button here to group with other speakers instead of having to go into the app. But nonetheless, we got our music selection here, which is YouTube music uh, for me. Anyways, you can change it to whatever you want, but then you got your sound stuff right here, right? Alt power sound. That's my sound effect I'm using. Okay. So you turn it off or on via the app or the button, and then you've got your custom, but you can't do custom until you turn off the alt sound. So you got your three band EQ, which is typical there. So for those of you who are familiar with this app, you know what you're getting, man. So, oh, let me turn my sound back on. Let me, let me do the alt because I like that alt power sound, baby. Now, what I want to do is get into some tracks. So typically I set the speaker up outside and like, uh, you know, I'll play some tracks, you know, in a controlled environment that way you can hear it. But today, I'm feeling a little loose, man. Let's just do it right here in real time. Now to hear a comparison of how this thing sounds compared to something like the JBL uh, Charge 5 or the Flip 6, the Flip 6 is actually a more direct competitor. And then the Motion 300. Yeah, I got the Soundcore Motion 300. I've got the JBL Flip 6 and I've got the JBL Charge 5, which I will be comparing it to on my other channel. So after you leave here, go hang out over there, man, because that's why I'm gonna be hanging out, just, just wearing this thing out. Oh.
that own button off. We go through. This is what I want you to listen to. I just turned it off, right? Do you hear how freaking clean that is? It's clean audio. It still has bass, of course. It's not like a like a podcast mode where it sucks all the bass out. No, it's just good, clean Sony sound. But then when you press the alt button, you, you hear that boom, and then that extra bass kicks in. Listen, it's off. <laughs> thick that bass gets when you hit that alt button. Oh man, this isn't like, look, you can only hear so much over the microphones and YouTube and stuff, man, it sounds so freaking good. This is a different sound from the XE200. It's, it's, it's richer, it's cleaner, it's in the bass is thicker and deeper. Oh man. Sony Alt Field 1. You kind of did it, Sony, man. Good job, good job, man. Love the color, love the design, love the life proofness, love that thick, thick sound. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>